Today we're going to go over installing the 22 4.0 battery strap mount kit from RC Life. What comes in the kit are two battery strap mounts with the nut installed, two drilling jigs, one for each side that's included in the new kits going out as of today, and also two 10 millimeter countersunk screws. You also need for, to do the installation is a three millimeter drill bit and either a quarter inch drill bit or a 90 degree quarter inch countersink. This is used to recess the core, this screw between the chassis and the side guard. So now we'll go over how to install this kit on the TLR22. What you need to do is remove the rail. I removed all the screws from the bottom of the chassis as you can see. The rail comes off and you take the drilling jig and you place it onto the side rail. Each the, the side rail has little notches on it that accept the, accept the drilling jig. You'll feel it pop into place. You then take your drill bit and drill through the hole here in the thing. You drill through like that. Remove the drilling jig, and you'll see that it has drilled a hole right in the corner of the thing here, and it has now has a hole in the bottom. Now what you do is you take your quarter inch countersunk drill bit, or counter 90 degree countersink bit, put it in your drill like this, and you drill it countersunk 90 degrees to the hole. You don't want to drill through, because if you drill through, it won't hold. Sometimes you have to do this a couple times to get a good fit. So now you take your battery strap mount. Like I said before, the it has these little reliefs cut in it, so it fits on the buttons on the chassis here. And you'll feel it pop right on. Put the screw in. And you want to make sure that it grabs the nut up in the battery strap. You don't want to tighten too much. When you're done, the, the mount should be flush with the top of the rail. If it's bent down, you've tightened it too far. If it's bent bowed up a little bit, you haven't tightened it enough. And the key is to recess this so it doesn't interfere with the side rail of the chassis at all. So go ahead and tighten that up. And then you go ahead and reinstall this on the side of the chassis. And you replace all the screws on the side. And when you're done, you have a nice clean look that looks that looks that looks stock. Today we're going to go over installing our battery strap mount kit on our TLR22. Going forward from here, since we already have the battery strap mount kit installed, it's the same as installing a battery strap on it, either the 22 with the strap mount kit or a B6. So what we have here is we have our one half of our battery strap mount, our countersunk carbon fiber washer, our normal carbon fiber washer that isn't countersunk, the battery tab, the 16 millimeter countersunk screw, and the 20 millimeter screw. So to do this, what you do is you install this. On this car, you install it backwards. You install it facing backwards. So the angled part goes towards the back. When you want to run on carpet and run, move the battery all the way forward, that's when you turn it forward. Um, what happens is if you run it the other way, it interferes with the body. So what you do is you go ahead and take your countersunk washer and you install it inside of the screw here. It's a very tight fit. So you just thread it on, it's no big deal. On all of our battery strap mount kits, um, for now what you do is you take the 20 millimeter screw in the battery tab, slide it through, and then through through this other washer. On all of the plastic mount kits, we've pre-tapped the holes 
um, to accept these screws, but we'll only partially tap them so it helps you get them started. We want the thread to make, the screw to make the threads so that the battery, the, everything stays tight. So what we do is you start off with the countersunk screw. It gets installed in the rear hole. Go ahead and put it through the battery strap and go ahead and thread it in. Get it started. Like I said, the threads are started only a couple turns, so the screw will be tight going in. Um, so don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just constantly push down. It won't strip. Then you take the assembly that you did here with the 20 millimeter screw, washer, and tab, and that goes in the front tab holes. Again, those threads are started to get easy ease of getting it installed, and then it gets tighter as those screws making the threads. Like I said, keep pushing down because it helps making sure that it all gets tightened down. You tighten it till it gets snug. Go ahead and tighten the back one all the way down. Okay, once you have those tightened down, just back them off like one or two turns. And go ahead, and if you have the other side already installed, back that off one or two turns. Just make sure it's loose. This allows it to move back and forth, like I said. So if you're going to go all the way forward, I would turn it around the other way. This angle part will follow the contour of the chassis. But we run it backwards for dirt setup um, so it doesn't interfere with the body. So if you're going to go ahead and install the battery, you just go ahead and pop the battery in. And you can, as you can see, you can slide the battery back and forth in the car like that. So run it wherever you want to run it. I'll run it here, you know, like, I don't know. So a couple millimeters forward. Go ahead and tighten it down. Tighten the counter sunk washer down first. Then go ahead and place your tabs over the battery. You may need to loosen them up. Now every one of these batteries is a little different. So some are taller than others. And you may need to use a ball stud shim or something like that underneath the battery strap to get like a nice flat finish. Um, some of the shorter batteries might require a, di a different mount, which we might think about coming out with later for some of the real shorty batteries. But majority of the batteries, 4,000, 5,000, I think there's 5,300 or something like that, those will work with this eighth inch shim. But you, again, you might need to put a quarter in, like a one millimeter or two millimeter under here to make it work perfectly with your battery. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask us on uh, rclife.com or reach us out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.